ever since I was a kid, I loved Star Wars. Han Solo, Darth Vader, Jabba the Hutt. There's so many memorable characters and places. That soaring, beautiful, symphonic score by John Williams. The humor, the wit, and the heart of the original trilogy. George Lucas had an incredible vision for another universe, and he took huge risks bringing it to life. So when you make a Star Wars game, you have every advantage, and we've seen some awesome games over the years. I'm talking KOTOR, ooh, I'm talking Jedi Academy, ooh, Rogue Squadron, ooh, I'm talking Star Wars Connect. Welcome back to The Funny Show. I am your host, Mr. Funny, and welcome back to the series. I almost said show. There's two shows. It's a show inside a show. <laughs> welcome back to the series, Totally Reviewed, where I review every single game I own. And today we're reviewing two games. We're reviewing Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2, the EA versions, because, oh God, they're bad. <laughs> but today I thought I might as well review these. These are kind of... Um, outdated, but I don't care. I, I have to review every game, so why not do this one? These are these. I thought it would be fun. So, Star Wars Battlefront. I'll start with the first one. This game, I was so excited for this game when it was first revealed. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so so good. I wanted it so badly, and when I got it, I was I enjoyed it. But this is before I basically liked every game this is when halo 5 was one of my favorite games of all time and that says a lot because that game is trash but this game i enjoyed it on first playthrough but the more and more you play it the more and more you dislike it it is so bare bones it is so bare bones this game does not have a lot of gameplay or content inside it that is the biggest problem with this game and the fact that all of this stuff all the new maps and weapons and all the new content is behind DLC. Why are is it? Why is it behind DLC? It wouldn't it be nicer and m wouldn't it help your fan base and community and just overall round look of you as a company EA? Wouldn't it help if you just released the maps for free? Nah, it'd be more more smart. It would be smarter to release them all for freaking fifty dollars because you're EA and that's what you do. That's just all you do. Release all the maps for DLC for fifty dollars. That's fine. You don't have to do anything else. We you don't need any more. You don't need any need any more uh bombshell fire cracks like freaking I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's not good though. If you don't want more of that, like what happened with Star Wars Battlefront 2, we'll get to that. Don't worry, we'll get to that. The original Star Wars games were basically just Battlefield but in the Star Wars universe. And that was basically the main draw, and that's not a bad thing. That's the best part about this game, is that it was a real warfare in Star Wars. This game is missing those magic moments that you get from time to time with the Battlefield games. <laughs> yes. Yes. Nice. Star Wars Battlefront doesn't have that. It doesn't have a single-player campaign or barely any single-player content at all. There's barely anything to do by yourself. All you can do is play online. And even then, there's barely anything you can do in that. There's barely any game modes, and the only good ones are, like, just Walker Assault. That's the only one I miss. That's the only one I miss from the, the first EA game. And that says a lot, because there were a lot of game modes in the end, but there was barely anything. There was barely anything to this game. Not really anything special. The only good thing I can say is that the visuals. The visuals are amazing. The sound design is incredible. I feel like I'm playing in the Star Wars universe. Other than that, Star Wars Battlefront is very, very disappointing. Star Wars Battlefront 2, on the other hand... They're adding a campaign mode. They're saying all the DLC is going to be free. They're definitely making steps in the right direction. But this is EA, okay? They'll find some way to fuck it. They found a way to fuck it. If you thought the first game was bad, oh man, is this game terrible. I cannot find anything really positive about this game. Other than the visuals and the sound design, just like the first game, this game is not good. <laughs> this game is not good. They did, they're not, they didn't give us any overpriced DLC. And EA listened to that. But everything, ev everything bad about the first game was enhanced extremely high. Open-ended maps in the original games are basically gone now. These are even more linear than the original games. The not the original game, the first game. 
These are really linear and really take me out of the game. I am not feeling like I feel like I play Battlefields in the originals. I feel like I'm playing Call of Duty. And you may think that's basically the same game. No, the Battlefield games have a much more open-ended map and a much more open-ended just gameplay style. This, in Call of Duty, it's so... It's basically everyone is this kind of the same except for the weapons they use in a very small condensed map. Battlefield is much more large and grand and just overall big. This game is much more different. This game has so many... This game is so linear and that's what I hate the most about it. The first is so much better than this and that says a lot because the first is bad. So if this, if the first is much better than this, this game is even worse. This game is so bad. I don't even know how to rank this. This game was so, so, so disappointing. People were excited for this game. They were excited. And not only were they disappointed, people thought this game sucked. And it, it, it did suck. This game is terrible. Really, all they gotta do to fix this game is fix the online, fix the single player, fix the loot boxes, fix the battle points and heroes, fix the objectives, fix the controls, fix the vehicles, and then boom, you have a great game. I'm not even going to mention the loot box fiasco because that was terrible. That ended up so badly. And I'm assuming you already know what that loot box fiasco is. If you want to look it up, just look up. If you, wanna, if you don't know what it is and you want to learn more about it, just look up Star Wars Battlefront loot box disaster or something like that, and you'll learn pretty easily what it is. It was so scummy and terrible. And I doubt anyone is going to forgive EA for it. But if you think for one second that this statement is going to make people forget what you did and make people forget the countless, ceaseless, endless, greedy moves you've done in the past, then you might be right, because to be honest, I've already forgotten. JUST KIDDING, bitch. And with that said, I'm going to put Star Wars Battlefront EA at 25 and Star Wars Battlefront 2 EA at number 28. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? of Star Wars Battlefront, the EA Reboot franchise. Let me know down in the comments below. That's just a good way for me to talk with you guys and see what happens and see what you guys think. And with that said, this video is a wrap. Mr. Funny out.